shocking news. A young hoodlum has been killed by police after he robbed a local store. He was caught by police and decided to attempt an escape. The hoodlum's name is Dallas Winston. He has a lengthy police record. He has been in jail four times and was only released six months ago. He was pointing a handheld firearm at Officer Jerry Brown when he was shot by police. We are live at the scene with Mr. Brown. Sir, what was it like when you were on the chase with Dallas Winston? <laughs> when on the chase of anyone, it's a bit scary, but Dallas Winston has a different feel about it. It's different when you're chasing Dally. It feels as if he wants to get locked up or killed. This chase was different, if you know what I mean. Why did you have to shoot Dallas Winston? It's an instant reaction, I guess. If someone was pointing a gun at you and you had a gun in your hand, you didn't want to be the one that shoots last. It's also police protocol. Anytime you're under fire, return fire at all costs. This happened with other cases and some robberies. There was an extreme case where a victim was aiming a gun at police and a sniper had to shoot the gun out of his hand. Stop. We are at the local store which Dallas Winston robbed. We are with the store owner now. Did you know Dallas and what was he like in your store? Well at first I thought he was just a hood off the street trying to stay warm in my shop. When I told him to get out he became very aggressive. He grabbed a gun from his pocket and started waving it at We're at the scene of Dally Winston's death at the corner of Elm Street in the city park and we are lucky enough to talk to one of his mates to the... Dally did not die a hero. Um, he died as a young, violent, desperate, and we all knew he was going to die one day. Dallas Winston was proved to be guilty of burglary and threatening innocent people with a firearm. This would have got Dallas 12 years in prison and a $4,000 fine. The firearm he was carrying had no ammunition and was only used as a bluff to police and public. This was also said by his friends and other members of his gang. This was a bad day for the so-called greasers, who have just lost one member to police and another to injuries. He hid from saving four children in a burning church. We will be back tomorrow with more information on other police cases. This is Pigs News and we are over it now.